Two men who drugged and raped and murdered a young father of four have been jailed for life. Dylan Brister and Cameron Allen spiked Callum Simpson's drink with Etsy Zolam and bound his wrists with rope at a flat in Methyl, Fife, before filming their depraved attack on a mobile phone. Mr Simpson, 24, whose youngest child was born just 11 days previously, later died from intoxication caused by the combination of the Class A drug and alcohol. Brister, 28, who also admitted attacking two police officers, was told he would serve a minimum of 23 years, while Alan, 21, received a 19-year sentence after both were earlier found guilty of sexual assault, rape and murder. Sentencing at the High Court in Dundee, Judge Lord Arrowa told the pair they had caused terrible devastation to Mr Simpson's family. He said there are so many milestones in the children's lives that their father will no longer be able to share for reasons that cannot adequately be explained to them. No sentence of this court can elevate the family's grief and anguish. The court heard the pair had been attempting to recruit a man to make up a threesome using a dating app grander, but their efforts had failed. Mr Simpson had been with a friend before going with him to the flat. On the 3rd of November 2021, his friend had later departed, leaving Mr Simpson alone with Brister and Alan. Brister, who had won more than 20,000 gambling, had purchased a 1,000 tablets of Etizolam, also known as Street Valium, which he claimed he thought were diazepam. The court was told the sedative was up to 10 times stronger than regular Valium. Brister had previously spiked the drink of one woman and placed tablets in the mouth of another without her consent. Mr Simpson was rendered unconscious by the combination of the tablets and alcohol. Alan claimed Mr Simpson had been conscious and consenting when he was tied up by the pair but acknowledged they had continued their attack after he passed out. The pair filmed several videos of their assault on a mobile phone which were later deleted but officers from Police Scotland's Specialist Cybercrime Unit were able to retrieve the footage. During the earlier trial, Brister told the court, I won't dispute the fact that Callum passed out and we carried on. I didn't spike that boy, but yes, I gave him drugs. We raped him and continued to have sex. It is what it is. Disgusting. It should never have happened. I am not going to make excuses. Alan, meanwhile, said he was disgusted that the videos were taken, but said he did not know he was doing something wrong at the time. After their attack, the pair left Simpson unconscious before going to sleep. In the morning, they found him cold and rigid. However, before contacting the emergency services, the pair first concealed what remained of their drugs in a safe and handed it to a neighbour. Ambulance personnel were called at 12.03 a.m. and confirmed Mr Simpson had died. During the trial, Brister said he suffered a complex post-traumatic stress disorder and a personality disorder and received antipsychotic medication. Alan said he was diagnosed with an attachment disorder after watching his mother die in a car accident when he was free. In addition to their sentences, both men were placed on the sex offenders register indefinitely. During sentencing, Lord Harrower said, whether or not you intended to kill Callum Simpson, you each revealed yourselves to be completely indifferent as to whether he lived or died. As a result, the jury would have been entitled to conclude that you displayed such a degree of wicked and recklessness that what you did amounted to murder. Lord Harrower excluded the jury from further service for life due to the evidence seen. Moira R., who leads the Omicide and Major Crime for the Crown Office Procurator Fiscal Service, said the depraved and predatory actions of Dylan Brister and Cameron Allen 
have robbed a family of their loving son, father, partner, nephew and grandson. They show to blatant disregard for their victim's safety and life by spiking his drink with drugs before subjecting him to the most harrowing sexual abuse. Please like this video, please comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.